Melbourne's common train fleet has served us well for decades. In recent years, the fleet has been completely refurbished, allowing it to continue serving us for another decade or so. So today, let's take a look at the Comenge Life Extension Program. The Comenge trains were introduced in the early 1980s as a way of dramatically improving Melbourne's train fleet. They were planned to be built to allow for the retirement of the old Red Rattler trains, some of which dated back to the 1910s. Though the Hitachi trains had mostly replaced this fleet, there were still quite a few of these left, which would require more rolling stock to replace. Between 1981 and 1989, a total of 190 three-car sets were built initially for Vicrail, but later for the Metropolitan Transit Authority, which by the 1990s had become the Public Transport Corporation. Under the privatisation undertaken by Jeff Kennett throughout the 1990s, as part of the contracts to operate the hillside and bayside parts of the network, the operators were required to refurbish their respective Comenge fleets. This resulted in two different types of Comenge, the Alstoms and EDIs, for more information on this refurbishment, check out Moo Transit's video, which I'll hopefully have linked in the top right corner. After Connex took over the whole network, in 2006, work was undertaken to make the Comenge train sets able to run with each other again, thus meaning that they could run on the entire network and allow for Alstom and EDI sets to be coupled together. Connex was then replaced by Metro Trains Melbourne in November 2009, and very little change for the Comenge for some time, besides delivery, which went from Connex to Connex Metro to Metro Metlink to Metro PTV within a matter of only a few years. In 2013, PTV's network development Plan Metropolitan Rail identified a need to replace the Comenge train sets, which had begun to show their age. This resulted in two different plans for the Dandenong Line at the 2014 election, both containing new trains to replace a number of the Comenge fleet and add extra capacity. It took until December 2020 for these trains to finally start rolling out on the tracks though, and it's only been throughout this year that we've actually started to see the trains regularly running in revenue service. In the 2015-16 state budget, $75 million was allocated for a refurbishment to extend the life of the Comenge train fleet. This was planned to be completed by 2019. So, what did this involve? On the 22nd of October 2016, the first train to be refurbished under the program entered service. This was the prototype refurbished set, formed of a three-car Alstom Chopper Comenge set, 697M, 1199T, 698M. I'm not quite sure why it was a chopper comenge in particular, but I have a feeling at this point it was realised the choppers were not going to last very much longer, and so it was decided to refurbish one of these to avoid having a set that was different to the remainder of the refurbished fleet. This train ran a special run from Box Hill to Craggyburn to celebrate the refurbishment. This set was withdrawn in December 2017 and is currently in storage in Newport workshops. This set was fitted with new seats of two different designs, Motor 697M had a new front with white paint instead of the regular blue and yellow. There were additional wheelchair spots, extra hand straps, and centre poles fitted. Finally, the intercarriage connections were enclosed, thus increasing safety for passengers travelling on these gangways. The actual refurbished sets began to enter service on the 10th of October 2017, when the first train consisting of one 3-car Alstom and one 3-car EDI was put into service. This had several minor differences to the final refurbishment. For example, the handrails on the fronts of the train were not removed, and the holes in the Alstom body front were not covered over. On the interior, most of the changes used on the prototype set were installed on this set. Today, we would probably classify this set as a stage two set. So, what does that even mean? Let's now discuss the Comenge life extension stages. Although I've heard some things about stage four Comenge trains, the most commonly accepted definition are that there are three stages, each with different things. The stage ones consist of both Alstom and EDI refurbished Comenge trains. These trains pretty much just received a mechanical overhaul and they can be distinguished by their original interior with conic seats still in place. Some people have given these the nickname fake life extensions, as despite the repainted front, they have nowhere near the amount of upgrades used on other life extension trains. Typically, the Stage 1s are much older train sets, generally in the 300 and early 400 number range in terms of motor cars. However, there are also some 500 series Stage 1s, but only very few of them. Stage 2 trains have a few more changes. 
They have all the things that Stage 1 refurbished trains had, along with newer seats and gangways between carriages. They also have newer handrails. The majority of Stage 2 are EDI Comminge, however there are some Alstom Comminge in this too. These are typically later 300 series, 400 series and 500 series motor carriages. Unlike the Stage 1s, which are designed to be a minor refurbishment enabling them to continue in service for just a few years, the Stage 2s have received some more upgrades enabling them to stay in service for another half a decade or so. And last but not least, the Stage 3s. At this stage, and likely forever, the Stage 3s are only Alstom Comminge trains. These have received all the upgrades as the Stage 2s, as well as newer announcements, passenger information displays, and various other things. These are only Alstom disc brake sets, which are the newest in the fleet and will thus last the longest. These trains may well continue in service till the end of the decade. However, they could be retired as early as 2025 or 2026, depending on what happens with the fleet. However, their refurbishment was designed to enable them to continue for much longer than the remainder of the fleet. The majority of these trains are 600 series carriages, and I'm not sure if there are any 500 series stage 3s. So, was the program worth it? Most certainly, yes. With it only spending $75 million, the program was very cheap but also allowing for a significant upgrade and refurbishment to the Comminge trains. The reality was, they were very much showing their age by the mid-2010s, and this has given them a much needed refurbishment, making them much better looking, and certainly a lot cleaner. As well as this, they've improved safety and passenger comfort. The expectation is that by the end of 2023, all but the 36.5 Alstom Comminge Stage 3 units will be retired, although I would not be surprised if there are still EDI Stage 2 units operating well into 2024 or even 2025. At least this is far better than the early 2000s, where we scrapped a bunch of Hitachi trains only to have a massive patronage increase meaning we had a rolling stock shortage. Let's just hope that doesn't happen again, and that the comment retirement will be done once and for all, instead of having to buy back trains in future. Thus, with the 65 7 car HCMT trains to be delivered, this will reduce the Comminge fleet size from 89.5 six-car trains down to 36.5 six-car trains, or a decrease of 53 units, leaving 12 additional units remaining on the network. The 25 Extrapolis 2.0 trains will then reduce the fleet size to around 10, although more than likely, again, there will be around 5 units retained or so. That will leave a fleet increase of nearly 20 trains. Finally, an additional order of HCMT or Extrapolis 2.0 will leave the last of the trains to be retired towards the end of the decade. However, if you have a massive patronage increase, who knows, retirement may be put on hold as happened with the Hitachi trains. So, in conclusion, with the program wrapping up now, Melbourne's Comminge trains have undergone a thorough refurbishment, allowing them to continue for an additional 5 to 10 years in revenue service. These trains have served us well for 40 years, and will serve us well for an additional period of time. While it will be sad to see these trains go, we've still got many years of them left, and the refurbishment program has made them even better for all of those who use them. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.